Hi there, my name is Kim Steinberger and I'm the Restoration Project Manager for the Nature Conservancy here in Michigan. Today I'm at our Grand River Fen Preserve. What makes the Grand River Fen Preserve unique is it has this unique plant community called a prairie fen. A prairie fen is a type of wetland that's influenced by groundwater. It is also determined to be a prairie fen because it's dominated by grasses, wildflowers, and shrubs. Prairie fens are also associated with being the headwaters to streams and rivers. And the Grand River Fen is called the Grand River Fen because it is the headwaters to the Grand River, which is Michigan's longest river, stretching 250 miles, starting just south of Jackson, all the way up to Grand Haven, into Lake Michigan. Prairie fens are also unique in that they need natural disturbance in order to maintain this nice, open sort of composure. So something that we do here at the Mich uh, Michigan chapter of the Nature Conservancy is we try to uh, do management practices that help maintain this open composure, including prescribed fire and invasive plant removal. Hi, I'm Brian Miner, and I'm a land steward with the Nature Conservancy in Wisconsin. Wetlands here in the Midwest are vitally important to help filter excess nutrients from our freshwater streams and lakes. They also help lessen the impacts of floods and droughts by storing water during storms and snow melt and releasing water during droughts. I'm here at the Lulu Lake State Natural Area, which features a type of wetland called a bog relict. These types of wetlands do more than filter water. They help provide habitat for animals such as pickerel frogs, blanding's turtles, and swamp metal mark butterflies, all of which are species of concern for conservation in Wisconsin. Bogs are interesting because they can form deep layers of organic soil called peat. Peat can store carbon for a long period of time, which helps to mitigate climate change. Working with partners across the Midwest, we're protecting and restoring wetlands like this one here at the Lulu Lake State Natural Area. Hello, my name is Maria Lemke, and I'm the Director of Conservation Science for the Nature Conservancy in Illinois. Now behind me are floodplain and wetland habitat that make up about 5,000 acres of the Nature Conservancy's Imoquan Preserve along the Illinois River. Prior to the 1920s, this floodplain habitat was connected to the river, providing critical habitat for riverine fishes, aquatic vegetation, migratory waterfowl, and many other wildlife species. Now, although it was levied off from the river and farmed for almost 80 years, the site has been restored with a managed connection to the river. This managed connection, again, provides access for many riverine fishes for feeding and breeding, including the ancient paddlefish that swam alongside the dinosaurs. Hi, my name is Cassie Household. I'm a freshwater ecologist with the Nature Conservancy in Indiana. I'm standing in a forested wetland. I'm in Pike County near the Patoka River. And forested wetlands are really a rare community type in Indiana in that we've lost most of them. Over 85% of our wetlands are gone. But you can see, and maybe even better hear, why these places might be important. Of course, you see the water that's being stored here. That's water that's filtering back into the groundwater. Lots of process, nutrient processing going on in this. And there's also a lot of life that's, that's dependent upon this community type. So you can hear, you're hearing the birds. Um, also seeing a lot of tadpoles. We've got frogs, salamanders, and toads using this for breeding. Um, by the summer, this will be dry and, and gone, but right now it's really an important, you know, hot spot that will then become dry in the summer. And then once the fall comes, water will start flowing back in here. And it really is water flow from, from rain events. It's not uh, flooding in so much from the river as it is just gathering the water that's coming off of the landscape around us. And we are close to some agricultural land. So we have to think this wetland is also processing and taking some of those nutrients out of that and letting that settle in and grow these wonderful trees and shrubs that you see around us. Hi, I'm Marcel Wadigan and I'm a Northeast Ohio Conservation Coordinator with the Nature Conservancy. Wetlands here in the Midwest are critically important in helping to keep our environment functioning and healthy. I'm here at the Morgan Swamp Preserve in Northeast Ohio, which features a variety of wetlands, including vernal pools. Vernal pools are seasonal wetlands that emerge each winter and spring when snowmelt and rainfall fill depressions in forests and fields. Though seasonal, these pools provide habitat for many animals, such as fairy shrimp, wood frogs, and spotted salamanders. Amphibians come to the vernal pool each spring from the surrounding forests to breed. The seasonality of these wetlands keeps the vernal pools free from predators like fish, which provides ideal habitat for juvenile amphibians and invertebrates. These ephemeral habitats are vital to some of the most unique and often imperiled wetland animal species, but they're also disappearing due to development, habitat loss, and habitat fragmentation. 
Working with partners across the Midwest, we're protecting and restoring wetlands in places like Morgan Swamp to protect biodiversity and the health of our natural world. Learn more about wetlands in the Midwest at nature.org.